poster. I've said it before. I don't like speed! Left or right? Left! Oh. Right! Oh, no! It's Tuesday! So? It's cardboard recycling day! Oh, no, oh, no! How's it buddy? Do, 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 do. Oh. This way! No, this way! No, that way! No, that way! Tell me the odds. I want my mom! <laughs> I'm going to climb on now! <laughs> that stopped the engine, but you still have no brakes and you're heading straight for the cliffs! Elvis, I want you to throw a rope to the bus to slow it down. You mean? Yep. Get out your lasso and round them up, partner. Now hit the brakes, Penny! just in time. Well, you can thank Elvis for that. <laughs> Woo! That's my radar! We've looked everywhere for that fox, Hannah. I really should be getting back. No! Please, Trevor. If we don't find him, Mom will be really mad. And if you go, we'll never get back. You'd be a real hero if you helped us, Trevor. <laughs> you got something in your eye, Norman? Uh, no. I, I... Look! Up there! I see something red, and it's moving. It's the fox. Oh, I'll get him. Uh, no, Norman. That's a very tall tree. Let me do it. I am Chief Pioneer, remember? <sighs> oh, I just wish that I hadn't had that oh, pot pie for lunch. Keep going, Trevor. Now a little to the left. That's it. You've got it. It's not a fox. It's not? It's a kite. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Are you all right, Trevor? Uh, I think so. <laughs> it's time to call Fireman Sam. I'm happy to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! <laughs> I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favorite chocolatey treat. <gasps> no, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving them lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes, maybe a few. Mystery solved. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. 
Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger that, Sam. Go get him, boy. I'm proud of you. of my amplified advertising? No, we saw Mandy's posters. Ha! Uh, what time are they due back, Sam? Should be quite soon, Joe. I'll see if Penny's got a visual. Any sign, Penny? People are arriving to welcome them back. Still nothing, Sam. I hope they're not in any trouble. Good girl. A flare. It must be Ben and Hannah. They are in trouble. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. Searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Yay! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. Told you. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. Look out for the ice. Sam, Titan can't get past the ice. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. On the line. Control trains that are on fire. Do something, Normaxo. Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on our interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman. Norman, this isn't the time to. Shh, I'm on a call. Fly us above the train, Tom. No worries, Sam. Normaxo, look! Your phone call worked! <gasps> it's a UFO! UFO! Oh, alien! Huh? Norman? Shh! I'm hiding from the aliens. We'll have to head back to the rescue centre till this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow. Drop me off here, Tom. Sam? Totally! 
bloody epic! <gasps> it's an alien on the roof! It is. I knew that. Huh? Hey! I'm so sorry, Sam. That'll teach me to wear a cardboard box on my head. You mean an astronaut's helmet, Gareth. <laughs> Sarah's spooktacular house of scariness! <laughs> Thanks for taking the candy apples, Penny. Ooh, uh, I'll get it. Uh, Elvis, remember, don't cook the candy for too long or it'll get too hard to use. It needs to be runny. Okay, Sam, runny it is. Ooh, tasty candy apples. I can't wait to make you. <laughs> and, oh, aha, Ooh. freeze. Not yet, sir. The candy has to set on the apples. Oh, this waiting's just miserable. So, how's it going, Elvis? Oh, I think we might need some new candy. Ah, and a new pan. Hmm. Whoa, Sarah, that's amazing. What's amazing? Thanks, I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! yeah. Anything but uh, make a mummy. But so this game is called Pin the Tail on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? <gasps> My house! My bath! Oh, this is so nice and peaceful. Stop! We have to call Fireman Sam! Beep, beep, beep! Beep, beep, beep! Scanning area! Kitchen is clear! Fire Captain Steele has finally given up on the candy apples! Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah! There is a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. There's a fire at the children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. There, one bouncy castle. Ooh, I'm pooped. Can we have a try now? Not yet, Norman. It still needs to be pegged down. Uh, how long will that take? Hold your horses, Norman. Oh, oh, my leg's gone to sleep. Well, can you wake it up and go get the pegs? Uh, please? Hey, okay. okay. But no bouncing while I'm away. It's not tied down yet. Norman, what are you doing? My dad said it wasn't ready. I'm just testing it. What's wrong? Scaredy can't bounce as high as me. Of course I'm not, but... Come on then, Mandy. Prove it. All right, I will. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Sing my songs till I think I'll burst But I never forget that I'm a fireman first 
I love to rock and I love to swing. But the thing I love best is when the fire bell ring. A ding-a-ling, a ding-a-ling, a just one more verse. Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first. <laughs> I am the biggest bouncer. The biggest show-off, more like it. No! I better call Fireman Sam! Mandy Plug and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Huh? No, no, stop that. Get off! <laughs> Hang on, Mandy. Hang on, Norman. Oh, watch out, Norman. Now I've lost my paddle. I think I can reach it. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, now I've lost mine. We're floating away. Only one thing to do. Help! 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 What's that? <gasps> That's Norman and Derek! Oh, dear. Sam, help! We can't get back! Grab hold of the end! Fireman Sam. Thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Uh, you see, the thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we don't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. Mm, no broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you really warmed up before you started. Well, uh... And built up slowly. Oh, well. Oh! <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on. Where do you think you all are going? There is no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, yes, us. <laughs> I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Uh, where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. Okay, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. <gasps> oh, 
Bravo! Fire at the floods! It's okay, sir. Got this under control. My poor innocent village. Behold, my spectacular circus sheep. Now this is entertaining. Wait till you see them jump the trembling tower of crockery. Jump, my woolly wonders! Yeah. Ah, help! Sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. Sounds like they're heading this way, sir. <gasps> no, my model village. We'll need to act fast to set up a blockade. So, we'll need Arnold, Ellie, and Elvis to bring all the vehicles down. Then we can block off this street, this street, and this street while we round up the sheep along here. Roger that, Sam. We'll be needing our animal rescue uniforms. The runaway sheep now, sir. Thank heavens for that. Ah. <laughs> ah. Come back here, you silly sheep. Whoa, ah. I baked some sharky nibbles. They're just like my fishy nibbles, but with more of a bite. Exactly. Mm. I bet you'd make a dashing seafarer, Trevor. Well, I have tied a few bowlines in my time. So, all the preparations for Ponty Pandy Pete Day seem to be full steam ahead, eh, Sam? <laughs> they do indeed, sir. But the one thing that would top it all off is if I could get someone to play the part of Ponty Pandy Pete. I don't suppose you'd, um, you... You know. Oh, you mean me. <laughs> no, no. Sorry, sir. Acting's not really my cup of tea. Maybe we could get one of the team to do it. Maybe, sir. But I think they might be a bit busy with their training no, drills. No, this is how you do a Ponty Pandy Pete voice, Arnold. Arr! 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 No, Elvis. It's like this. Arr! <laughs> Arr! Arr! Um... Would anyone like to try um, putting out that fire? Shiver me timbers! <laughs> ah, at least we have two firefighters who might be interested in doing the job at hand. <laughs> Yo ho ho! And a har! 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 A har! Propel borders on the starboard side! Or maybe not. <laughs> You two can't be Ponty Pandy Pete. You're girls. I think we'd make great Ponty Pandy Pete's, actually, Elvis. This is going to be a long day. Now 
follow the old man's gaze till you get to the rock. When you're at the end of the trail, X marks the spot? I still don't know what it means. Neither do I. We might. What do you three want? To join in the treasure hunt. No way. I'm not sharing the treasure with you guys. Okay. We won't tell you all about the book the professor was reading then. <gasps> what book? It's called The Old Hermit of Pontypandy. And it's about an old man who lived in a house on the cliffs. And looked out of his window. That sounds really boring. Norman, the clue says follow the old man's gaze. The old man in the book could be our old man. So, are we going to all look for the treasure together? Um, uh, uh, Penny and Ben, Tom is lost. Get Neptune and Titan ready now. Roger that, Sam. Roger that, Sam. Elvis, you come with me. Okay, Sam. be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. So half speed, and let's try the east of Ponty Pandy Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. <laughs> Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current is quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! Whoa! What do I give to be back in my helicopter? The wind is northwest. The tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. Mm, there. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam? Come in, Sam. Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Ponty Pandy Island and a lot further out from shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Ponty Pandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. <laughs> I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. If you can't beat them, join them. I suppose. Ah. Ah. Should do, we should check the batteries of the smoke alarm. Good idea, James. It's very important that the smoke alarm is working properly. Okay. Mm. Uh, now. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Well, what do you think? It's amazing. I'm quite impressed, actually. Great, eh? Big and wild. Wild enough for the, the wild, wild man of, of Ponty Pandy. <laughs> we should get a photo. Great idea, Mandy. Everyone gather together in front of the bear. Just wait till the wild men of Newtown see this. 
Shuffle back, everyone. Yay! Yay! Right, that's more like it. Now, everyone say, Grrr! What, the Grizzlies? We better call Fireman Sam. We can't. The radio is in the tent. Oh. I'll run to the rescue center and call for help. Trevor and I will get everyone to safety. Come on, kids. Oh, I sure hope that fire doesn't spread to the forest. James, you've completed the Fireman Sam Challenge. Hooray! Uh, <laughs> now, I just need to finish this. We're back! <laughs> ah. oh. Uncle Sam, I spotted something else, but it's not in the house. What is it, James? There's a fire on the mountain! That's where the pioneers are. I'd better call the station. Oh, dear! I've never carried a penguin upstairs before, but I suppose there's a first time for everything. Oh! Ooh! 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 I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? Oh, she'll only do those stuffed peppers again. <gasps> oh, no! Help! Oh, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah, you're back. How did it go? We didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store at Dylan Price and the penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the cut price store. And Gillis Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs? Yes, that. Ellie and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger that, that, Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? Chances are pretty high, Elvis. Don't worry, Norman. Sam is on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the Penguin. Firefighter Phyllis. Firefighter Sam. Air, 100%. It's the Waddly Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! <laughs> Hello, Waddly Penguin! <laughs> Ooh, he smells all fishy! I'm sorry I didn't take the penguin back to the zoo. I just thought it might like to live in my house. You need to know how to look after an animal before you try to give it a home, Norman. Animals are kept in exactly the right habitat in a zoo and have expert keepers looking after them. And I should have been more careful with those scented candles, Sam, and not block the door with those boxes. Well, I'm sure you won't be doing that again, Dillis. Um, uh, Lizzie, uh, who's gonna get the reward? Shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. A shaky, shaky, shake. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Come on, everyone. Shaky, shaky. Don't just stand there. Grab a shovel and join in. Shake. Okay, the rules are our team has to stop your team from hitting this can. And our team has to stop your team from hitting that can. Well, that's not going to happen. Ready, steady, go. It's not fair. 
there. It's three against two. No, it's not. It's three against three, Derek. You've got the super penguin on your side. Yes, he does. Oh, no. I cannot believe we are related, Norman Price. You'd better hurry up. It's getting dark. Soon the kids won't be able to see what they're doing. They will now. Ta-da! Shaky, 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 Looks like we've done it, sir. And there's still some sand left. Marvelous! That old shaky, shaky, shaky method works like a... <laughs> I'm fine. Good thing we've got some sand left, sir. Shaky, shaky, Sam? Shaky, shaky, Ellie. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. I'm not playing with you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin. <gasps> Don't listen to him, Penguin. Come on, we'll show them. No! That's it. I've stood up for you. I told everyone you're a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. Oh, my floodlights! I'd better call Fireman Sam. Watch a carefully, Norman, and you'll be a master chef in no time. I don't want to be a master chef. I want to watch some soccer. First, we make a nice and neat circle of bellissimo dough, like this. Next, a nice a big doll of a tasty tomato sauce. Aha! Oh, yeah! And then a beautiful big handful of mouth-watering mozzarella. Finished! And now I'm free to watch the match. Ow! Ah, I hate making pizza. Woohoo! Sam! Over here! Oh, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? No! No, you're not, Elvis! Oh! Penalty kick to Ponty Panda United! Get ready for the penalty kick of the century! Uh, oh! Stop! Watch and learn from the professional. This is how to kick a penalty shot. Huh? Uh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's an own goal. Yes! Goal! Goal? Forget about the football, Norman. Just be careful with the... <laughs> wow. Ah! Food. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Mamma mia! What have you done? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'll clean up this mess. You take the pepperoni pizza out of the oven and take it to Ben at the key. Okay, Bella. Ah, it's not fair. I'm missing the match and all because of this silly pizza. <laughs> No, this is how you attack. And this is how you defend. Well, there's nothing for us to do here. We might as well all go home. And this is how you scissor kick. Oh, my back. 
pizza smells a bit smoky. A bit too smoky. <gasps> oh, no! Fire! Fire! <gasps> You'll be leading the line here? Yes, sir. Firefighter Phillips, I want you up here on Jupiter. And Firefighter McKinley, you'll be covering from here. Are we ready? Fireman Sam, standing by, sir. Firefighter Phillips, standing by. Firefighter McKinley, standing by. Firefighter War, standing by. What'll be one, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Uh, uh hello, Ponty Pandy. Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> yes. Right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Bye. Well, I just hope Mike does as well as me. Hello, Putty Pandy. I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Scrum Master 2000. Ta-da! That place I know where people say hello! Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it up all the way, Joe! <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that! Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Oh. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire! Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury! <laughs> Ellie, Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Power's off, Sam! Ah! Don't panic! I'll get you! Don't worry, Lady Pufflepaws! I have my Ponty Pandy Pioneer swimming badge. That's Lady Pufflepaws. <gasps> Come back, Lady Pufflepaws. <laughs> Come back. Oh, and that's my Norman. Oh. <gasps> We'd better call Fireman Sam. Yeah. Oh. There. All balanced. Thanks, Elvis. We'll store the pieces here until we can return them. Sorry. One more piece. Hip. Hip. Yeah. Well, 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 Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. My Norman's downstream! They're in the water! Downstream. The dogs, Trevor ate my sausage rolls! 
<laughs> Stay calm. We'll find him. I'm launching Saturn now. Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. <laughs> Get ready, Penny. <laughs> Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, ooh, and very licky. Chin fellow is top notch. <laughs> ah, reminds me of a young me. That's James in a runaway go kart heading for the pier. James Jones is in a runaway go kart heading towards the pier. That's what I said. I'll be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman? I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. Well, good luck. Jake Pond, Super Spy, scene 57. Showdown in the villain's lair. Action! Ah, Mr. Pond, I've been expecting you. Glove fingers, my old foe. <gasps> it's a trap. Number two, tie up the prisoner. And cut, tie up the stunt double. I don't like movie making. Or being tied to a chair. Stop <clears throat> complaining, James. All you have to do is direct a beam of sunlight through this magnifying glass and burn through the rope like this. Simple, right? Um, uh, oh. Action! Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. Sorry, Ryan. Awesome! Norman is so wrong. You're scared of me, not the other way around. This must be one of those underground streams. Oh! Oh no! Help! Oh no! Help! Oh no! Mandy's been turned into a bat! Be quiet, Norman Price. Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam. Blood is trapped in the caves. 
Looks like we're heading back to the mountain, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. What happened? We just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. Sam, this tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. Oh. Oh. oh, what's that noise? Two experts are What's going on down there? I can hear Fire Captain Steele working on the handcart. Hmm. Ah! She'll be growing body wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way, and the old mines go into the mountain this way and they get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. Huh. Ah! Trevor! I'm just trying to win a coconut! Oh! Well, this is intolerable. I'm going to have to move somewhere else. Quidlington, I need your help. I'm going to back up. Tell me when I need to stop. Okay, sir. Keep going, sir! Keep going! And, oh! Uh, yeah. ah. uh, oh, oh! Wait! What? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, 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 oh. Red Lantern! Oh, dear. Oh. oh, that was totally awesome! That's because you got to sit in the middle. Now then. Who's next? Uh, it's me! me it's me me, me! me! Oh, me please! Okay, room for two more? Oh. Move along now, please. Nothing to see here. <laughs> hey, Joe! Lizzie! Come and have a look at this! Ah. 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 Oops, oh. You stay there. Gently does it. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, what do you think, Cridlington? Whoa! <laughs> oh, no! Fireworks! There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. Those things could go up like a rocket. There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. Done! Oh, I know. Ooh. Penny, you keep the fireworks boxes hosed down. 
I'll tackle the rest of the fire. Gareth is missing on the mountains in the storm. Gareth is missing on the mountains in the storm. Gareth was with the children. They must be up there too. Better take Saturn! for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Granddad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. It's not fair. How come James gets to be that big froggy star? Because James has been reading all about frogs and how they move, Norman. And he's practiced for ages dancing in those flippers. It's really hard. Ah, I could do it way better than James. Watch. <laughs> Norman, just be happy to be a normal froggy like us. But I want to be the star of the show. People should be clapping for me. Me. Here we go, everyone. All right. First part of the drill, put out the fire with hoses. Roger that, Sam. That's you! Ah! 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 Craig Langton! Sorry, sir. Maybe you should help Tom with the second part of the drill, Elvis. He's going to pick up water from the sea in that carrier and dump it over the flames. Whoa, good idea, Sam. I like going up in a helicopter. Yes, and then you'd be uh, out of the way of uh, Fire Captain Steel. Uh, soaking wet again. Always happens when Crittlington's around. Can't wait to see the show, eh? Have you heard? James is the star. He's got the big finale. Oh, I bet it'll be spectacular. I'm feeling a bit nervous, Mandy. Don't worry, James. You'll be great. Definitely. You're our top froggy. <laughs> what was that, Norman? I, I, I should be the froggy star. I could easily dance in those flippers. No, you couldn't, Norman Price. But I could. There's only one star in this show, and it's James. And he's going to be amazing. <gasps> or maybe he isn't. <laughs> Get 
out of that so-called star of the show. <laughs> First fire out. I have to say it's a lot easier without Cridlington around. <laughs> Can I press the button yet, Tom? Not yet, Elvis. The water's ready to drop, but we've got to be in exactly the right place. Uh -oh. I'll tell you when. Yes! <gasps> oh! Cridlington! Beautiful. Look at them bob in the water, Lily. Just like real frogs. Frogs! Now, for the grand froggy finale! If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out.